right, this is going to be my updated 3v3 build. Going to start off with the most abilities. The I remember back in the days, you know, we tried to experiment with different classes, different abilities. But these days, you can just go to YouTube, type, you know, Lost Ark Striker Meta Build, and you already have your Meta Build, you know. But remember, guys, there is no shortcuts, you know. Experience is, means a lot, and time is one of the most important comedy you have. challenge of course for Titan as you can hear the crowd getting absolutely crazy here for both teams but you know I know a lot of people in here are cheering for COG Prime they want those boys to bring it home but you know what though the jungler and start getting off like we the, all know here, here's the so be able to do what if Sir Ket doesn't get banned which we which we're gonna go into pick some bands here for game number three cognitive prime up to zero against Titan and Thor, good team fight initiation, backline damage. They need a strong late game carry. And now this is where it comes down to do you pick the Rama into this? Or, yep, there you go. Adaraxia with the Rama's locked in. So now they have a strong dual lane that scales well to mid to late. And. But on Adaraxia, who dodges forward? I don't think Kanye can find any more out of this. Oh, they're trying though. And he goes down. Adaraxia finding the bait. And now a <laughs> target quiet warlock. Kill him. 
<laughs> the MMORPG market with its humble beginnings needed to craft a combat system that could properly hold up netcode-wise. Action combat systems simply wouldn't have worked realistically with the aging tech of the first couple of MMOs. But as technology advanced, we still find ourselves held hostage by the tab target combat system. Nearly two decades later after it was first implemented, the tab target system is still the most prevalent combat system. There are a couple things that demonstrate a tab target system. I will explain what features you would commonly find within. I will also detail a number of reasons why it's both good and bad for the genre. You see, the guys in charge of this stuff lack creativity and are completely out of ideas. So all they do now is recycle shit from the past and expect us all not to notice. If I have to suck somebody's dick, I will. It's just, I prefer not to. I think you idiots are perfect. This is the Striga, a 20 year old game from PlayStation 1 era which had better action combat than even games today. If you guys wanna know what is a good action combat game, you have to play Smite Arena or watch the King's Avatar animation. There are also some really good older games like Raiders, Wing Vindictus, C9 or the Striga, you know. C C9, Continent of the Ninth, is also a really underrated game, okay? You can hardly find it on fucking YouTube anymore. C9. MMORPG. C9 is an instance hub based action MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. This is a pretty cool boss. Let it go. Be back. Alright, air phase. Okay, keep an eye out. What's coming my way? What's coming my way? It's not coming my way. So you've just picked up Lost Ark, and you picked up Striker as your main character, and now you're looking for a guide on what abilities to use and how to use them in PvP. Alright, this is gonna be my updated 3v3 build. Gonna start off with the most abilities. I remember back in the days, you know, we tried to experiment with different classes, different abilities. But these days you can just go to YouTube, type, you know, Lost Ark Striker Meta build and you already have your meta built, you know. But remember guys, there is no shortcuts, you know. Experience is, means a lot, and time is one of the most important comedy you have. That's why I felt it was very unfair that, you know, the, the Lost Ark server, you know, the founders started a three day head start, you know. It just doesn't make a fair, for fair competitive environment. of these games are actually working on a new game called Peril Abyss.
才会回来。One of the most important stat is swiftness. You get attack speed, movement speed, and skill cooldown. Okay, so what you wanna do is find just the right swiftness. Okay, so you can go in and out faster. You have the right cooldown and the right attack speed. Okay, so of course, critical skill and specialization and endurance will all be very important. I mean, every stat is important, but you wanna find the sweet spot, you know. You wanna find, you know, just correct amount of swiftness that allows you to have low enough cooldown so you have a good rotation or just enough movement speed so you can actually juke people, you know. This is what it's all about. This game is about right stats and, you know, predicting enemy hit, you know, when to use dodges or immunity frames, you know. You know, this game is really a CC CC fiesta, you know, crowd control fiesta. Like, this game is all about crowd control, you know, all about CC chains. Like, dude, holy shit! Like, why do sorcerer have five different type of hard crowd control? Why? You know, this game is all about combos and crowd control, you know to combine your abilities in such way that you have unlimited crowd control, you know. But this is not really what third person action combat is all about. It's about real time juking, you know, predicting enemy strikes, not just CC chains. And that's why such games like Lost Ark are outdated. Not only just because they, you know, they are two dimensional instead of third dimensional like Smite or the King's Avatar animation. But also because they designed this game in such a way that they're all about combos and CC chains and not about actual juking and such, you know. You can kill the world boss to get his quest. Let's see, let's not fuck it up. This glyph seems to respond to light. <laughs> 